Always investigating, 7 News asking the city of Denver how it's enforcing the camping ban that was passed last year. You still see people spending the night along the Cherry Creek bike path. Well, 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon found the city and police have people working on the issue, but there's little to show for it. In daylight, the Cherry Creek path is clear. Early morning, it's a different story. They've made beds. There's one man who has created a structure with tarps using some features of the bridge. Katie Goshevsky rides her bike on the path daily. She believes the city isn't doing enough to enforce the camping ban and says now it's out of control. A man was urinating on the bridge right in front of me and that just really rubbed me the wrong way. In daylight, we found trash on the other side of no trespassing signs. Earlier in the day, in the same area, people were camping out, technically breaking the law. We are not patrolling the city to find people to ticket. Denver's Road Home has a 21-member outreach team, four of whom are police officers who say they work the streets daily. We asked how they handle problem areas like the Broadway Bridge. If they're not contacted by DPD or an outreach worker, then how do we know that where they are and what they're doing? For Katie, that's the problem. She thinks more presence on the paths will discourage inappropriate behavior because she sees it every day and in all the same places. But despite the city ordinance banning urban camping, the outreach team says this is about striking a balance of helping, not punishing those without a home. In Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. And since the ban was passed in 2012, the city hasn't handed out one ticket for camping. Now, the good news is Denver's Road Home has added 600 more shelter beds.